This time on Rock Up Racing, Tom dives into the team's V8 project, focusing on their Gen 2 Camaro. Meanwhile, Robert and Charlie are venturing into the intricate world of carbon fiber fabrication. The team has some ambitious, perhaps even risky plans for the Camaro, aiming to have it ready by summer 2025. Let's see how this journey unfolds. Welcome to Rock Up Racing. To move forward with the Camaro and kick off the carbon fiber fabrication for the panels, the team needed more space. Enter Coastal 2. This is day one in the new unit. Coastal 2. Carbon fiber area, carbon fiber area here. Camaro. The plan is to prep the rusty panels on the Camaro to create molds that will be used to make carbon fiber body panels. This process requires a significant amount of workspace, which is why Coastal 2 is essential. With the Camaro now settled in at Coastal 2, Tom finally has the room to begin filing and sanding down the bodywork preparing it for fiberglass molds. Meanwhile, as Tom gets to work, Rob and Charlie are honing their carbon fiber skills, starting with something a bit smaller than a Camaro. So we've got the headlight mold here that we made of a headlight, which is now <laughs> broken, luckily, that we've made the mold already. But yeah, we've got the headlight mold here. So it's gonna be two, two ply. <laughs> it's got the the thinner stuff, what's this, what's it? Um, 3K. 3K carbon for the, and that's the, the finished side, so that's what you're gonna see. And then we've got the thicker stuff here to go on the back. Make sure to get right in those corners because it's so contoured. So like, it's yeah, hard to it, sort of... It moves a lot, doesn't it, that one? You can buy what's called stabilised carbon that doesn't do that, but it's more Yeah. Like... So it's the second layer going. Just a little bit of adhesive just to uh, aid in positioning it. So the way we're doing it, the... Um, like a dry layup. Um, it allows you to get everything in position and make sure it's all correct before infusing the resin. Which on a part like this, when you've got loads of contours like that, it does help. Now doing the exciting bit of doing the vacuum bag. This bit's the, the easiest bit to do. So we're going to go for the infusion. We've done this one slightly differently, so we can hopefully get look at that. So it's going to hopefully go around these edges up here, which on the last one. I mean, it did go up there last time, but. So the guys are experimenting with different methods for making the carbon parts. Good focusing mostly on resin infusion. They start by laying carbon fiber fabric into a mold, then cover it with a vacuum bag. Once the air is sucked out, they introduce resin, which gets drawn into the fabric. Once done, they leave it to set for 24 hours, creating a strong, lightweight part. You eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed from one of the team's recent videos that the carbon fiber headlights were a success. As you can see, the Camaro is slowly 
taking shape. The whole body's been sanded down. Um, it's still not perfect. There's a lot of areas that need a lot of work still. I've um, been using further where I can. Not too much, obviously. Uh, so the front wings I've been working on in situ, but I have just taken them off. There was quite a lot of rust in some of them. <clears throat> Areas like this had to be completely taken back and further added um, on the front here as well. You can see all along here. It's all about just getting a good surface so we can like make some molds, um, then create some carbon panels. But <laughs> as these things go, with a 51-year-old car, um, there was a lot of rust, so just from sanding this lower section, 200 kilos of rust has just fallen out, so that's good. So I don't think this panel can be usable. This panel was the bad one, I thought. This, I'll insert some pictures, but this whole section was really bad. So this is all filler. To get a decent, uh, decent finish. It's obviously not finished underneath here, but it needs to be smooth, but the actual, the bad portion on the inside of here, on this side, it's actually really good. The boot floor, we're gonna be cutting out. Not only is it completely rotten, but uh, this will be having a fuel cell in anyway, so um, yeah, obviously a huge amount of the car needs to be changed. I haven't touched this side yet, um, so you can see this is a untouched side. You've got big sections on the doors like this. They're going to need a lot of attention before we even think about making carbon doors. After some sanding down, it became clear that the Camaro's panels were in such poor condition they couldn't be used for molds. The team has now placed an order for new fiberglass panels. This way, they'll have perfectly straight panels to take molds from, ensuring a better fit when they're on the car.